Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the Friday Lunch and Learn sponsored by the Do Space. My name is Julie. I'll be your facilitator this afternoon. Uh, today, we're going to take a look and talk about cloud computing. I do have the chat open over here on another window, so if or another monitor. So if you have any questions, feel free to um, jot those in. I'll keep my eye on that. Um, and we're going to go ahead. We're just going to talk um, a little bit about some um, some of the options for cloud computing. This is not an, an, an inclusive list, an exclusive list, excuse me. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at um, one of the cloud computing options. So, you know, so many times people will say to me or they'll look at me like, I don't know, I don't really know what cloud computing is. I've heard this, I've heard the term before, but um, you know, I I don't use it, or I think I don't think I use it. I hear that a lot. Uh, I don't think I use it, uh, but but I'm not really sure if I do or I don't. So when you think about cloud computing, um, you can go back to look, thinking about how long you've had an email address. So usually I ask people, you know, how long have you had an email address? And it'll be, you know, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40 years um, that people have had an email address, maybe not quite 40 years. I might be exaggerating a little bit on that one, uh, but, but an extensive amount of time. And I remember uh, when when I had my, one of my first uh, email accounts, what I would do was I would email myself important documents um, just as a backup. You know? So I would email them to, my, to myself just in case my computer crashed uh, or, or something happened to an external hard drive that I had those stored someplace else. Now, what do I mean by stored someplace else? Um, our email is not stored on our PC. So that's why if you are, you know, in Omaha or another, can you hear me? Okay, could you hear me before? Oh, okay. I just remembered that my, my mute was on and I thought, oh, I wonder if they can hear me. Um, okay, awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So anyway, back to my email. Sorry, I, I forgot what I was talking about there for a second. Back to my email. Um, so I would, uh, I would, um, you know, email myself important, important documents because I'd be able to access my email, not only from home, but, um, you know, anywhere, anytime, as long as you had a, a device and access to the, to the internet. So things like my resume, my cover letter, um, things that were important to me um, years ago. Now that they're not important to me now, I'm just not using them. Um, uh, so any document that was, that was important to me, I would email to, to myself. Uh, and that was that was the same thing as cloud computing because our emails um, did not reside on our PCs. They reside on a server somewhere in the world. Um, I remember when I had a years ago when I had a, a Cox email uh, address, and somebody said, "Well, why, why is the uh, timestamp on those always in Eastern time?" I can send an email and it will be an hour off of when, when I sent it. And I did some research on that. And it was because the uh, the servers were in Georgia. Um, so that was in the Eastern time zone. Now, um, the, th that does not impact our email now where, wherever the servers are, depending on whether you have, you know, Gmail or uh, whatever, uh, Cox or Yahoo uh, any of the multiple services that does not impact us anymore. But um, I always like to talk a little bit about cloud computing, especially when I'm when I'm in person and I can see uh, the people and they're kind of giving me this look like, mm, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. You know, I have an iPhone, but I'm not really sure if I'm backing up to the iCloud. But it does tell me that I'm out of storage. Well, okay, well, then, that, then you're backing up. Um, so I would encourage you to, to use um, any sort of cloud computing. Um, that you feel comfortable with. I use um, probably four different um, types of cloud computing. I use the Google Drive and I use it quite frequently. Um, so, so the Google Drive, uh, what that does is, and we'll look at that here in just a little bit, 
um, with any Gmail account, with any Gmail account, you automatically have access to the Google Drive. And many Gmail users do not know that. Uh, and what that allows you to do is it allows you to go in and to use Google Docs, which is a word processor, Google Sheets, which is a spreadsheet, and Google uh, Slides, which is a presentation package. Uh, there's many other options. You can upload photos. Um, it's, it's, you can share things out with, with people, um, and that's with any, uh, any cloud computing. So what do I mean by share things? Um, you can you can share documents with other people. And when you share documents with other people, they can jump in there and they can they can edit the document. So two people or three people or a hundred people can be working on one document at the same time. Uh, I think the most that I've ever been invited to to edit was a, a sign up sheet. And there was about 75 people um, that were had access to the same Google Sheet at the same time. Uh, but if you're collaborating with somebody, if you're collaborating with somebody that does not live, you know, in the Omaha area, maybe it's not conducive for you to, uh, maybe it's not conducive for you to to get together. You can always use cloud computing um, as a as an option to work on a presentation or a project, whatever the case may be. Um, you also have, uh, like I said, you've got uh, the ability to go into to the calendar and set up meetings. I'll show you that because that's a really cool feature as well. And, and note that I'm only going to show you one, uh, one, one example of a, a cloud computing application, but uh, the other applications do basically the same thing, okay? Uh, so looking at that, so let's talk a little bit more about the Google Drive before we go on to my other um, two examples. So like I was saying, the Google Drive is free as long as you have a Gmail account. And what they'll give you is up to 15 gigabytes of free space. And that's a lot of space, folks. Um, and, and that's for your Google Drive, your Gmail, your Google Photos. Um, you can store all of that for free in the Google Drive. Now, one thing that I want to make sure that I point out is that if you have more than one Gmail account, um, you can have you can have multiple Gmail accounts. Each of them will give you a Google Drive, but they don't talk to one another. So if there's a document that you want in um, each one to access from each one of your Gmail accounts, you'll need to make sure that you upload that. Um, to each one of your accounts because they don't they don't talk to one another um, like if you have an iPhone or an iPad you probably are saying well your iPhone and your iPad all will go to the iCloud they all back up in the same place doesn't work quite the same um, just wanted to to make sure that I uh, let you know that now what if you need more than fifteen gigabytes then you can go in and you can buy you know a hundred gigabytes for a dollar ninety nine. 200 gigabytes for 299 two terabytes wow i'm not i don't know anybody that has two terabytes at least i don't think i do uh, for 990 9.99 a month now these these prices fluctuate um i think right now they have a special going on but that's approximately what it's going to cost you so it's very reasonable if you do need extra storage so the OneDrive is another great option for you to to consider. Uh, with the OneDrive, they give you five gigabytes of free space for your Microsoft account. Um, so that's giving you the, the, the OneDrive, your Outlook, so your, your email, um, and any of the, with, with the uh, OneDrive, um, you get uh, Microsoft Word, Microsoft PowerPoint, there's all kinds of applications, Microsoft Excel. Um, I couldn't even list them all because Microsoft has bundled so many applications into um, that that one. So again, if you need more storage, you can see that those uh, prices are comparable to what I just showed you on the, the Google Drive, $1.99 a month for 100 gigabytes, a terabyte for uh, $6.99 a month or $69.99 per year. So if you pay for the whole year, it saves you a little bit of money. And again, uh, and these these prices are going to fluctuate a little bit depending on, on the region and the promotional area um, and things like that. But let's talk a little bit more um, about the OneDrive. So the OneDrive, like I was saying, comes with Microsoft Office 365. 
Uh, and what that like, they get these, you know, several apps in there, um, but it's going to, like, the prices are very reasonable. So Microsoft 365 Personal, um, this plan typically includes a one terabyte of OneDrive storage. That's a lot of storage. Uh, for $6.99 a year, $6.99 a month, that's very reasonable, but you're getting all of those applications with it, um, along with uh, your, your, your cloud computing, your terabyte, that you can back everything um, up to uh, the, the OneDrive. So the Microsoft Office 365 family, uh, the difference between the personal and the family is that you can put the family on multiple machines. Uh, now, I, I do not know exactly how many machines you can put those on. Um, if anybody's interested, I've got my email address at the very end, and I will share that with you. And I can, I can do some further research to find out um, what, the, what the family means as opposed to the, the personal. Uh, because I'm not 100% sure, and I'm not going to... to uh, just make up a number <laughs> um, and uh, go with that. So moving along to the iCloud. So we, we, I mentioned the iCloud earlier because if you have an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac computer, um, you can have those all backing up to one account, which works a little bit different, like I said, from uh, the Google Drive or the OneDrive. Um, so the iCloud account is uh, everything that you take with your, with your iPhone. Um, and there's there's options for if you if you have an Android there's options for um, Androids as well. I have an iPhone that's probably a way I went with iCloud. Uh, but every time I take a picture, every time I take a video, every time I take a, a, a video that was a mistake, <laughs> um, and there's lots of them on there. Um, everything backs up to your uh, to your iCloud, and you can access the the iCloud via a PC. Um, and so you could go in and you can look at all of your pictures, you can download the pictures, you can play with the videos um, and do some things like that. There are um, specialized iPhone classes that there used to be. Uh, so check into that at the at the do space where you can go in and work with somebody um, at the uh, at the do space a mentor at the do space uh, specifically with your phone if you would like to. Um, so you can look into look into that. Uh, so, like I said, backup and restore, seeking and continuity, all goes to your iCloud Drive. If your iCloud Drive is full, it's going to tell you that. It's going to tell you that it's no longer backing up because it needs to, um, it needs some additional space. And this is one. Uh, I guess I have the, let me see, do I have the prices? Yeah. Since I was talking about prices, I'm going to go to the next slide and then I'll circle back to the other one. Um, so Apple, Apple provides you with five gigabytes of free space. So again, that's your iCloud backups, your iCloud drive, your photos, um, and everything else. If you need more, um, you can go with, with 50 gigabytes. This is not, that's 99 cents a month. That's what I have. Um, 200 gigabytes is $2.99 a month. And again, two terabytes is $9.99 a month. So the three, the three options of cloud computing that we just looked at, very comparable in price uh, and what they are, are offering. Uh, just, to, just as an FYI, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this in here. Uh, what I do, what I do when, when, I, uh, when I have my 99 set backup is I, I have a, um, I, do, I don't connect that to that, to that payment to uh, my debit card or a credit card. I have um, a, a debit card that I refill. So I'll go and I'll put $12 on it on a yearly basis. So that's the only card that, that um, I have stored in my phone. So if that's something that you, that concerns you um, is, is putting in your, your credit card number or your debit card number uh, for security reasons, um, you can, you can go to, you know, any local, um, uh, store or do it online and just get get a credit card and load it with you know twelve dollars fifteen dollars whatever you want whatever you need and give them that card number that way the the money that you have on that card if something does happen and I'm not saying that it would I'm just give you an an, an option um, the only thing that they have is that particular card with X number of dollars on it so. Um, 
just saying what what I what I do um, doesn't necessarily mean what you're going to do. Uh, so what does the iCloud have? Um, it has the, the the backups for the your your apps uh, for the iCloud Find My uh, the Find My My Friends app. Um, all of your mail, all of your contacts, all of your calendars. I'll tell you what, folks, I think backing up your phone is almost more important than backing up your computer. And I say that um, kind of light, lighthearted, but, but several years ago, this honestly happened to me. I was teaching uh, a class. Well, I wasn't teaching it, but I was in a class, an iPhone class. I was co-teaching co it, let's put it that way. And somebody said, you know, how you've got the security on either an iPhone or an Android phone um, so that somebody can't get into it. Someone asked if rather than typing in a number, can you type in a name? So I went into my settings and I, <laughs> I looked at it and I said, yeah, well, you can. And I, I punched in four letters and evidently I, I didn't mean to change my passcode, but I changed my passcode. The next morning, I went to use my phone, and what happens? And what was it, what happened to me anyway was, um, you know, after so many times of putting in that passcode, it said you have to wait ten minutes, and then after ten minutes, I tried again, and now you have to wait thirty minutes, and you know, it went on and on. Pretty soon, it said, "We're sorry, but you need to reinitialize your phone." So, I mean, for security reasons, if if you lose your phone, if somebody steals your phone. You know, they can't get in, they can't see your contacts, they can't, you know, do all of those sorts of things. Uh, so for security reasons, it would have been awesome, but I had my phone in my own possession and just didn't know what my passcode was. Um, so I had to reinitialize my phone and that mortified me because all of my contacts were in there, all of my pictures, all of my videos, um, especially, you know, my pictures and my videos of, of my dogs. If you're an animal person, you can certainly relate to that. I'm um, just making sure there's no questions. Uh, so what I had to do was because I was backed up to the iCloud, I had to um, hook up my phone to my PC, go through uh, a set of steps, and it brought everything um, back down to my phone, my contacts, uh, my calendar. If I didn't have anything on my calendar, but if you did have something on your calendar, you know everything that was backed up would come back to your to that device. So. Uh, make sure that you're backing up because it will save you a lot of hassle in the long run. Let's see. Um, and again, you can do the, the, the family sharing. Uh, I, I'm not a, an expert on the on family sharing, but if you do have family sharing, you can go in and share different apps, you know, iTunes, Apple Books, um, and those sorts of things in the, in the iCloud. All right. Oh, you see here. Uh, I will come back to this as well, but my Eva, oh, what did I do that for? <laughs> Let's change that. I don't know why I typed that in. Let's give you my new space. <laughs> um, what is my new space account? That's funny that I can't remember. Okay, let's bring that up. Uh, let's see. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's JD, JD view space. Okay, uh, let me change it. Okay. Uh, so my my uh, specific email for the new space is jdduspace at gmail.com. All right, so let's take a look at what exactly am I talking about. I've been talking for the last 20 minutes about cloud computing, but let's show you an example of what really cloud computing can do. Um, I'm, in, I'm in my Gmail account right now. Uh, so when you log into your Gmail account, or let me back up for a second and just say if you don't have a Gmail account, um, so let's just go to gmail.com. And what you can do is you can um, come over here and just click on your, your Gmail. Or if you need to sign up or you want to create another account, you can come down here and click on sign up. And it will allow you to sign up for another Gmail account. Uh, now, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my 
back to my Gmail. Hopefully it's going to go back to the do space Gmail. Nope, it didn't. Okay. This is my this is my junk one. <laughs> um close those windows in my JD view space Gmail. Okay, now we're back to it. Um, so you can you can go in and create one. Just Google gmail.com or put in gmail.com in the um, URL, the universal resource locator up here at the top, and you'll be off and running. Um, now, once you're in your Gmail account, what you're going to be looking for are these nine dots over here. So your Google Apps. Um, in, the, in the Google Apps, what you're what you're seeing over here, if I click down, are all of these apps. And some of these I haven't even looked at, folks. Um, there are a lot, like I said, a lot of apps. All of these are free. Um, so so take advantage of it. I use the Google Drive quite a bit. Um, the, the contacts a little bit, my calendar. I'm gonna show you how to use that fabulous option uh, for getting together, all of your photos. And you can move these around. So let's say um, that you want to access YouTube through your through your Gmail account. And that's something that you do on a, on a regular basis. That's something that I do on a regular basis. But if I want to, I can drag and drop these um, and move them. So if there's something like maybe you use Translate on a regular basis, if you want to translate from one language to another, um, you can move this up here to the top so that you don't have to search for it all the time. All right, um, so what, what we're gonna focus on today is just looking at this Google Drive. So when I click on my Google Drive, it's going to open up and I've got several different folders in here. Um, many of which, what, what, what I will do is, if I have a, a presentation a lot of times, uh, if, I'm, if I'm traveling for that presentation, um, you know, I'll, I'll have it, I'm, um, I like to be very prepared. Um, I will have maybe the presentation on the laptop that I'm taking with me. I will have it on a flash drive that I'm going that's going with me. I will also have it backed up in the cloud just in case something happens. I want to make sure that I have access to it from uh, multiple multiple um, ways. Um, but that's just me. So the, this is kind of what what your, these folders that you're looking at that are that are dated and. And, you know, let's say Excel 2, Day 2, and overheads and some things like that. So those are all folders that I either created or I uploaded um, a folder from my PC. And it's it's backed up um, in my Google Drive. And I can access that anytime I want to. Uh, we'll look at that here in just a minute. I'm going to focus my attention over here to the left. Um, and on the, on the left, I'm going to go to New. Um, and underneath new, you can create a new folder. You can upload a file if you want to. You can upload a folder if you want to. Um, you can create uh, new Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, Google Forms. Um, and then it's got some additional options for you. Google Drawings, which um, I haven't really used. Um, Google Maps, Google Sites. Um, so just kind of looking at these and, and the, what, what, is, what exactly is the Google Sites? Um, if you are interested in maybe doing some website development, but you uh, want to just uh, keep it keep it private to yourself where nobody else would be able to see it, um, the Google Sites would be a great option to you uh, because the Google Sites is just um, just like these other applications. You can choose to share them out with other people, uh, but you choose whether they can edit, whether they can view, whether they can comment. I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. Um, so, so the Google sites would be a good place um, to, to start your website development um, if that's something that you're interested in. Um, I use uh, Google sites uh, on, a, on a daily basis uh, because it's, uh, I, I update uh, information uh, for, uh, for, for people uh, and put it out there so that they know they have the most current version. Uh, rather than emailing things back and forth and maybe something's outdated, uh, you know, using the Google Sites, um, you can upload files, you know, you know, just like think about what you do on the Internet. The Google Sites has all of those options as well. Um, Google Forms is really cool as well. Uh, if you want to send out a survey, so let's say that you have a business um, or you're you're doing a workshop and you want to send out a survey afterwards just to to get uh, some input from folks, 
Um, you can go into Google Forms, create a Google Forms, share it out with them. Um, it will share all of the data back with you, including um, data analytics as to um, how they responded to your, to your survey. Um, Google Slides is much more like PowerPoint. Uh, the nice thing about Google Slides, Google Sheets, and Google Docs is that, again, if you want to collaborate with somebody, um, you can collaborate with someone, and then at the end, if you want to download it, you can download it as a PowerPoint or as um, an Excel document or as a Microsoft Word document, um, depending on whether you're working in Google Slides, Google Sheets, or Google Docs. So let's just go into um, Google Docs and we'll get our feet a little bit uh, wet here. So when you go into when you go into Google Docs, um, it's going to uh, first of all, what, what's the title of this document? So I'm going to come up and I'm just going to click in there and, and uh, we're going to give this a name. So I'm just going to call this um, do space underscore and the date is April 5th, 2024. So I have named my Google Doc. Now, as I start typing, As I start typing, you can see right up here that it's saving in real time. So I don't need to worry about saving. It's automatically saving. Every time that I do something, I hit the enter key and it's saved. If I hit the enter, see that? It's just as a saving. Uh, so that is allowing me to, to continue to work as long as you have access to the internet it is going to allow you to um, save automatically. Um, so you'll, you'll see that in working with the Google Docs, um, it might not have all of the bells and whistles um, that Microsoft Word has, but it's free. <laughs> um, so if, if, it, you know, if that's something, if that's an option that you're looking at, maybe you know, getting uh, the Microsoft Suite is in your budget right now, um, you, can, you can use uh, the... Uh, Google Drive, and your, these applications are absolutely 100% free. Um, like I said, it, it's got most of them, though. I mean, if I go to, to insert, I want to insert an image. You can see that I can upload an image from my PC. I can search the web so I don't have to go outside of this application. I can go to my Google Drive, and I can go to my Google Photos. Um, I, could, I could type in a URL if I knew where the photo was, or I could use my camera. I can't do that right now because it's in use, but um, if I go to upload from my PC, and this is very similar to what you do on a regular basis with your PC, here are, well, it went to Windows 11, but that's okay. Here's some, some uh, pictures that I can use. So here's an example of it bringing in an image of uh, my beloved uh, Bailey and Blue. I'm just gonna make that a little bit smaller, so. There we go. Um, so some of those other options that you had just showing you image, search the web. Isn't that intriguing? I don't have to go to another tab. I don't have to go to another application. Look what it does. It says, okay, we'll, we'll let you search right over here on the right-hand side. Um, quite the lovely little feature. So let's just put in, uh, let's put in Omaha, Nebraska and see what pictures we can come up with. So here are all the very nice pictures of uh, Omaha, Nebraska. See, there we go. There's a there's a sign that says Omaha. Um, so you can select as many as you want to and insert them at the same time, or you can um, select one picture and click on insert. Um, I would, if, if this is new to you, I would suggest that you only do one picture at a time, um, but you can certainly do more if you would, uh, if you would like. So I'm just going to go ahead and come down here and click on insert, and that picture should insert here. Is it thinking about it? There we go. Here it comes. Uh, so nice picture of uh, Omaha. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Uh, and then we're, what's the other option? I always spend it. People like pictures the best, right? Um, so I can go to my Google Drive or I can go to my Google Photos. 
Um, either one is going to have uh, this probably the same pictures in it. Um, so here are some pictures that I have in my Google Drive. We'll just grab another picture of Bailey and we'll click on blue. We don't want to favor one over the other. I can make these a little bit smaller so they're all on one page. Oops. All right. Um, so there's my pictures. Like I said, you can do all of these. So let's say you want to share this out with somebody. Hmm, what's this big button over here? If I click on share, it says, okay, who would you like to share this with? And by all means, um, whoops, what happened to my share button? Okay. Uh, by all means, if you would like me to share this with you, feel free to um, put your email address in the, in the chat. Um, and I'd be happy to share this out with you if you want to um, experience having a document shared with you. And then you can pop in and you can edit this document if you would like. Um, if you have been in my Lesson Learns before, you know that I always use my, my friend Pat. Um, she is, is my guinea pig for uh, most of uh, my demonstrations. So she gets lots of lots of email that doesn't really pertain to her. But she might be, no, 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 no. Uh, she might be available right now, I think, to be honest with you. Uh, but I was saying earlier that you could be an editor, you could be a viewer, you could be a commenter, okay? So that's where you're going to um, determine this. If I say you can only view, it's going to switch to view, comment, um, editor, we'll let her edit just in case she can pop in and um, visit with us for a minute. Uh, notify people, absolutely. If, if how is how's, how's she going to know or how is the person going to know if you share the document if they don't uh, receive notification? They're going to receive notification via email. Um, so right down here, I'm just going to go in here and put in a message. This would be the body of my, of my email. <clears throat> Now, when I click on send, what it's going to do is it's going to um, send out an email um, that will uh, populate. It will share a link with her. And if she does pop in, you will see um, her, uh, her logo, um, her Google account picture uh, right here. If you don't have a Google account picture, it's just going to give you um, some initials, okay? Um, so you can share that with multiple people. I could have typed in multiple um, email addresses in here. Or if you have um, you, you, if you have contacts, if you created a group in your contacts, you could type that in and it will send to everybody in that particular group. The other thing that I wanted to note is that if, if, uh, I'll, if she's an editor and all of a sudden I think, mm, I don't want her to be able to edit anymore. I own this document. I created it so I um, have the administrative rights to it. I can come down here and I can change that. Um, I can also transfer the ownership. So if it is um, a document that, um, let's say that you, you use Gmail in your place of employment, somebody retires um, or they, uh, they quit, uh, whatever the case may be, but there's documents that other people need, you could transfer those documents to another person and then they would own them. Uh, so uh, the other thing you can do is you can copy, you can copy the link and then you can share it um, uh, that way as well. But I don't think I've ever really used that option. Uh, it is 100% up to you, whatever you think is easiest for you to do when you're sharing out documents. Okay, so um, that's where you would see her. So a um, couple more things that I want to point out, and then we'll look at some of the other applications in the Google Drive, um, is that underneath file, I could come down here and I can go to version history. Um, so if I want to see the version history, what this is going to do, it's not going to give us a lot of data right now, um, but uh, what, what, it's, what it's doing is it is timestamping whenever I do something. Or if you share this with multiple people, it's going to timestamp when they 
edit something. Uh, when they when they make an edit, it's going to go in. It's going to acknowledge that um, they made it, an edit in the document. Okay. Uh, now it's also going to assign everybody a specific color. You'll note that I'm pointing at my screen like you can see me pointing at my screen. Um, you'll note that um, there's a green dot over here by my name. And also when I'm in the version history, see how when I typed in cloud computing is an awesome adventure, um, that that is green. If Pat pops in here, they might assign her the, the color pink or blue or uh, yellow, whatever, whatever. Uh, every person is going to be assigned a different color um, in there, so it will um, track what they what they do. Um, if something happens and you need to revert back to an earlier version, you can come over and I can click on this this version, but there was nothing there, so I don't want to do that. Um, but you can, um, if something has happened to the document, you as the owner, you as the administrator, can. Um, revert back to an earlier time. Now, I was telling you that you can download these. So you can come over um, and you can go over to download and you can download, I mentioned Microsoft Word, but you have all these other options. Um, open document, rich text, PDF, plain text, web page, um, EPUB. Let's just download it as a Word file. And then uh, when you go into the Microsoft Word, it's going to pop over here to another monitor here in a second, and I'll grab it and bring it over. Um, here is the document. The one thing that you want to that you want to keep in mind is that I'll just put those side by side for a second. If if I add um, to if I add to the document that I just downloaded. Uh, that I don't have my Google Drive set up to sync, so it's not going to update in both places. Uh, once you once you download that, uh, if you make changes to um, the Microsoft Word document, it's not going to um, talk or sync with your your Google Doc. Likewise, if I come in and I put something else in. Uh, Okay, so I typed something into my Google Doc. I go back to my Word file, um, and it's not going to update in there. So just to let you know, uh, but we can go ahead and close this, and we don't need to save it. We'll just click on Don't Save. We'll go back to our Google Docs. Um, so that was just file and download. Where's download? There you are. Um, you can email from here if you want to email this to somebody. Um, lots of different, lots of different great options in here for you to uh, to utilize this. So I'm going to go ahead and close this tab up, and let's go back to our main Google Drive. Now, where is that document that we just created? Um, if I want to, I have some filters here. So uh, underneath my drive, see how I've got type. Maybe I just want to see the word um, docs. I can do that. And it's coming back here is my do space. Um, so I can take that and we can, there's lots of different things you can do with this. Uh, when you're looking to edit something, always look for the dots. So I'm going to come over here to the three dots. You've got more options. I'm just going to organize this um, and I'm going to move it. Um, I am going to move it to I thought that it would allow me to create a new folder from here and I don't think it's going to. All right, let me cancel for a second. Sorry about that, folks. Let's go back to home for a minute. And let's go to new and let's do a new folder. Let's grab a new folder so we can talk about how to move things around a little bit. There we go. And I'm just going to give this today's day 2024. Click on create. Now we have a folder. Okay, so now let's go back to the three dots and go to uh,
There we go. Folder organization and move. Now it's going to populate. There's my April 5th. I'm going to select it, tell it that I want it to move into there. And it will, let's see, last open. Let's just go ahead and go to last modified by me. Here it is right here. Um, so what I'm doing is here are all your filters. You can go in and you can filter all, all of this. You can filter uh, people that have shared uh, information with you, uh, things that you have modified. If you've modified it in the last seven days, last 30 days. So if you can't find something, this is going to help you. You can come up here and you can search as well. So if you know what you're, uh, what you're looking for, I'm just going to say maybe advanced day one. Um, and it will give me, let's see, let's do advanced Excel day one. Um, so it's going to give me any, any um, files that, that have um, those that match um, some of those words. So you can come up here and you can search. Um, you can also determine how you want it to be viewed. Right now I've got it in the list layout. You can go to the grid layout. Um, and it will look at a much different um, option. Okay. Um, let's go up to, to new. Um, one of the things, I want to go into Google Slides. Uh, and I want to go into Google Slides because this is one of the things that is shared, that I personally share uh, most often. Um, so right now I'm working on um, uh, an Earth Day presentation on sustainability uh, with a colleague of mine. Uh, my, my colleague lives in Maine, uh, poor thing, I know, uh, with, the, with, with the weather that they're having. But um, how else are we going to, how else are we going to collaborate? Uh, in order for us to collaborate, uh, we, we're going to have to use um, some of these tools that are available to us um, so we can put together a presentation. Uh, so what we're looking at, at here is if I were to share out um, you know, maybe if I just put in here um, sustainability, then I forget what the name of the presentation is, but um, then I can come over here and I can share it, and we can both be working at the at the same time. Uh, so the 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 Google um, Slides is very much so like PowerPoint. I actually like um, some of their their templates a little bit better than I do the ones. Um, that you'll sometimes find in PowerPoint. Um, so you can always go here and then you can, I could take it from here and I could download it now if I didn't need to collaborate with anybody. Um, so it does give me my, my themes and so on. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can collaborate with, with folks and it doesn't matter. <coughs> you know, I just mentioned that <coughs> my colleague is in May. Uh, but they could be right here in the in Omaha. Uh, and if you still want to collaborate, maybe you just don't want to drive across town. Uh, you know, and that's fine too. Uh, we don't need to spend that time driving or spend our, our gas uh you know, our uh battery power to to get across town. Uh we can we can collaborate uh through uh any type of cloud computing, uh whether they we're we're uh, one mile apart or thousands of miles apart. Okay, so another way that you could use this, another way that you could use this, um, a few a few years ago, a friend of mine was having a birthday party, big birthday, you know, big birthday coming up, uh, and we were we were planning this surprise party for her, and I said what I what I did was I wanted to put together a music video, you know, the uh, with with all the, the bells and whistles, uh, multiple pictures. But there were there were people, a lot of different people coming to this uh, particular event, you know, from out of town, from different states. So what I did was I put together um, a uh, Google slide and I shared it out with um, everybody that uh, was either invited to the party or that was coming to the party that had pictures um, of the of the guest of honor that wanted to that, that they wanted to share with. And they could just go in and they could select, you know, a slide or two slides and they could put the pictures on. That way, they didn't have to email them to me. I didn't have to download them, copy them, put them into uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. They were kind of doing some of the work for me. 
Um, so when you think about it, it's April. There's, you know, graduation is coming up uh, in, what, five weeks? Wow, scary. Five or six weeks, I'm not sure of the exact date, but it's, it's right around the corner. Um, so if you think of something for, for graduation, for a birthday, for an anniversary, um, the PowerPoint is uh, great uh, for, for doing that. And actually, I was just um, thinking ahead. Next week, uh, in the topic of the Friday Lunch and Learn is creating videos with PowerPoint. Uh, yeah, so if you're interested in knowing how to do that, um, I can show you how to put together a, a video in a very short amount of time. Um, that I'm sure that uh, somebody would appreciate. But that's just a couple of ways that I use cloud computing, uh, regardless of whether, you know, like I said, whether it's the iCloud, whether it's the OneDrive or the Google Drive or Dropbox, or um, there's there's other options out there. I can't think of uh, um, any of the names of them right now. But, um, you know, from a professional standpoint and from a personal standpoint, those are th some things that you can that you can think about as to how maybe you would use this sort of technology, okay? Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna close that up. Um, let's go back, let's see, what else? So if I wanted to upload a file or a folder, I can do I can do that. I'll just do that real quickly for you. I'm just gonna upload folder. What it's gonna do is it's gonna say, okay, which folder do you want to upload? And let's see, um, I will just grab, uh, maybe we'll just do uh, the OneDrive. So I'm just gonna upload that. I don't think that's uploaded already. It says there's three files. Um, it's adding three files to the site. Okay, let's go ahead and do it. Down here in the lower right, um, there is my, my OneDrive. It's, it's backed up um, and ready to, to go. So I can access this information anytime, anywhere. Um, that, I, that I needed to, you know, even if I didn't have my PC with me, what if I didn't have, or something happened to my PC, um, I could go to my Google Drive and um, have this information at my fingertips, uh, as long as I had a device and the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that out. Uh, so if, you, if you're looking to, you know, to, to back things up, the other thing that you can do, and it's not Oh, I'm, I'm surprised it's not showing me this option. And, oh, there it is. Uh, it's right down here. So this is my drive. You can also go in and you can, you, I remember earlier I said that you can have it sync. Um, you can change that to, to automatically sync if you want to. I choose not to do that with um, this particular Gmail account. But you can go in and everything will sync. So um, everything time you make a change in the Google Drive, it'll make that change on your on your PC as well. So there, there is an option. Um, you have information that is shared with me. Um, so I've got some information from folks at the um, do space that has been sent to, uh, shared with me. You've got your recent, if you've started something. Uh, but let's go ahead and go back to some of those other apps and take a look at uh, some other apps other than the uh, Google Drive. So you've got the Google Calendar. I told you we were going to talk about this because this is a really neat option. Uh, in, the, uh, in the Google Calendar, and I forgot that I had this up, it will allow you to add other things to your calendar. So um, right now it looks like I have... Um, I, I have in there, I have Christian holidays. That's why you're seeing Easter um, Sunday and Easter Monday. Um, I have the Iowa State Cyclones, uh, and that's basketball. So nobody's played right now. Um, basketball, basketball. And, but the Dodgers, um, they actually are playing as we, you know, they don't start until 120. Um, so you can put these on your calendars if you want to. I just put the Dodgers on there because of my husband so that I know where the games are. And that way I don't have to look it up. It's easier just to look at this calendar and go, oh, okay, they're playing 120 today. Uh, but what, that's not what I was going to show you, just to let you know. Let me go ahead and take this down to the week. That's the, no. That is the uh, view that I prefer. Um, you can go by the, the day, the week, or the, let's see, what else does it have? Uh, the day, the week, the month, the year, seven days, you know, show weekends and all of that. So whatever you decide. This is, but this is the cool stuff. Um, let's just come down here to maybe Friday at five. 
So let's go to Friday at five and I'm gonna click on more options. If you wanna set up a meeting with somebody. So remember during, during COVID when people were using Zoom, we were talking, we were uh, talking to, to people from all over the, uh, the country at set times. Uh, I mean, I, we talked, my, I talked to my siblings, we had uh, set up every Wednesday at, I don't know, five or six o'clock in the evening. Uh, where we got together and, and visited for, uh, I think it was 40 minutes that the Zoom uh, would go without logging this out. If you want to create a family meeting or maybe just a, a meeting, you can put in your family meeting, um, and you can put in a specific time, you can add your guests over here, but this is the cool part of it. You can add Google Meet video conferencing, okay? And what that's going to do is when it's time for the meeting to start, people just come over, they click on join with Google Meet. You have a camera option, you have a video option, you have a chat option. So it's much like being in Zoom. Um, it's all free, okay? Uh, so this is another great option. And I've, I've never done this before, but you know, sometimes when, if you go out of the country, somebody else told me this, um, and I'm assuming that it's true. If you go out of the country, sometimes it's very expensive to use your cell phone. Um, so you need to find, uh, have alternative methods to communicating with family and friends, um, maybe back in the United States. This is an option, okay? So you can click on join with Google Meet. Um, even if it says that um, the meeting set up for half an hour, you could go as long as you want to. It's not going to... Uh, it's not going to uh, shut you off. It's not going to shut you down. Uh, but that's that's a really cool feature. If you don't want to turn on your video, you don't want to turn on your microphone. There's a chat option. You can do that. Um, so uh, those are those are really nice because it feels like you know you're actually in uh, talking to someone face to face. Uh, so that's that's just a calendar option for you that I wanted to share. Um, so I can click on save. The other nice thing about this is, let me go back into it for a second. Let me go back and do edit. Um, notifications. If I want a notification, if I want an email notification, um, and I'm just going to say 10 minutes beforehand, um, this is saving me from not forgetting a lot of meetings. You know, you get busy, you're focused, um, and you, 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 don't, you don't remember what time it is simply because... Um, you're not paying attention to the clock and I get, I get an email. It's like, oh, that's right. Geez, you know, it's, it's almost one o'clock already. I've got a meeting at one o'clock. Um, so it's just a nice little reminder. You, you, I put in 10 minutes. You can put in uh, five or whatever you like, but that's a nice little feature as well. And again, all free. Um, so that is the, the Google Calendar. The other thing that I would uh, encourage you to go in and look at is Google Earth. Google Earth is so much fun. Um, and again, all any cloud computing, Google Earth is not going to be in uh, other, is not going to be in other uh, cloud computing options, but everything else that I've talked about is going to be um, in uh, those, those options. Now, I have no idea where we are here, but let's say that you want to go someplace. Oh. Um. Search. Okay, so I'm going to go to There we go. Uh, so we're going to take a little journey here. We're going to take a little trip up to um, the Upper Peninsula of Michigan um, and to Sunset Lake. Okay, stop. So it's showing me that um, these are the Sunset Lake cabins. So you can zoom in. Um, you can, that is not the Sunset Lake cabins, by the way. We're off just by a tad bit. Uh, that's down here. So that's one of the things you have to you have to look at. It might be they might be off um, just a little bit. And I'm I'm calling here, but um, it's within it's within the vicinity. So the, um, it was within five blocks of where the Sunset Lake cabins are. But you know you can you can come in and you can you know pretend like you're a person. Not not so much in a, a rural area. 
um, like the one that I just went to. But if you go to, you know, an Omaha city street and you want to walk down the street, maybe you're, maybe you're looking at houses and you want to check out the neighborhood um, or you, you know, just want to take a look at it. You can go to your house um, and see what you can see. They do have street views as well. So Google Earth is a pretty cool um, little feature. But again, um, that you will really find that in the uh, Google Drive uh, option. All right. Uh, we do have... Um... I hadn't planned on it, Rhonda. What do you have specific questions about Dropbox or just in general, what it looks like, how to use it? Sorry, I just saw this question. Because uh, I can certainly set up. Yeah. Um, I can I can certainly schedule a Friday lunch and learn um, to be specifically on Dropbox. Uh, if you if that would benefit you, that's something that we haven't done. We're always looking for new topics. Um, so awesome. Okay. Um, so yeah, it is close to to one o'clock, and I also have a meeting at one o'clock. So if you do have any questions, folks, feel free to email me at um, jdduspace at gmail .com. I really appreciate you joining me today. It's always a pleasure. Big shout out to the Do Space for everything that they do for the greater Omaha area. Um, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you next week for creating music videos with PowerPoint. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thanks, all.